and the pecking order begins. Lord knows I've been collecting turkeys lately. I've always wanted a nice flock. It's a real big red bourbon tom, well over a year old, compared to two younger ones here that are about five months old and four months old. Tank cut it out. What do you think about that? My blue split, blue slate gobbler. A Narragansett, or however you pronounce that, hen. This is what I got going on here. Roll palm hen, a couple, roll, a couple red bourbon hens, a bronze hen, and this is Marley, our nose chicken. Um, I forget the name of this bird, what kind it was, but a person in the area has been special breeding these things for a while. Look at that thing. Look at that crazy looking chicken. Anyway, this is what I got going on. I decided I wanted to breed some turkeys. I've got, I had three pair. So I finally tracked down a blue slate gobbler. And my blue slate hen disappeared last night. I don't know where. I don't know why. Most likely by jumping up on a fence and roosting, a fox came through and got her. So now I'll be looking for some more blue slate hens. What a mess. He's well over a year old. These other ones are just months old. These are these two hens here. They're already laying eggs. Our turkey's just the neatest thing. So I've got four red bourbon gobblers and three red bourbon hens. I will be downsizing. I think I'll be sending some of these away selling a couple can't have everything yeah i know i know i'm getting a little stream at this but if it's got feathers i love it turkeys are the neatest thing in the world big blue slate gobbler look at the beard on him so he's about a year and a half Royal palm, royal palm. I got a trio of royal palms now. Four toms of red bourbons and three hens. There's my goose. There's three of our goats. The other one is around here somewhere. There's our little cow. He's overwhelmed. He's doing real well. Got little horns coming on his head. Leg horns. That's a little of what we got going on here today. Let's go check on some pigeons. Oh, and trimming their feathers wasn't a lot of fun. You ever try to rustle a full grown turkey? Hold that dawn to it. Look at this mess in my truck. Try to trim their feathers while you're holding on to them while they're trying to fight you back. It was not a lot of fun. It was a big mess too. It looks like something really just, looks like one of my turkeys just exploded all over the yard. Stupid chicken. And I just got these last week. These are my game fowl. The pair there. There's a pair there. They even got an egg in there. I'll be fixing up a nest box for her today. Maybe try to get one last hatch before the winter kicks in. As you know, my pen is all empty. As well as my big pen over there. My flight box. That's empty. Got some of my rollers out today. Here's two of my little babies right here in the front. One just jumped up there. Some more. These are my breeders right here. I haven't let them out yet. These are the guys I've been flying all summer.
As for my whites, they're doing really good. Everybody's in there and y'all can even see Splash. He's hanging out. Splash. There you go, Splash right there. Jumping up and going in. Stop the tank. Leave everybody alone. Tank says they're painting the butt or anything. Tank, why are you painting the butt? Anyway, let's go check them out. See a little guy running around on the floor. A couple other little ones right there. Starting to take up some nest boxes again. My whites. I've got approximately 40 of them in here now. Which is cool. Anyway, I traded all my regular homers, my blue checks, and my blue bars and all the other stuff for two red bourbon turkeys the other day. I traded all my frillbacks and my fantails for a pair of royal palms. I'm getting rid of all that. I just want my whites and I want my rollers. And here soon, that's all I have. Anyway, shout out to Don's Pigeons, Hands Flight Kit Box, Danny P, Danny, CNC Loft, On The Go Loft. I love watching you guys' videos. There's so many more I could mention. But my memory is not too great because I'm old. But they did well. I released 10 at my wedding the other day after all that practice. They all came home. Anyway, let's try to breed as many as we can. Y'all have a great day. It's Friday. Have a nice weekend. And I'll get with you later.